Which one is better, sunscreen versus sunblock? Well, hey guys, I've been seeing many posts on TikTok, Instagram of people being like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that there was a difference between sunscreen and sunblock and that one is better than the other. So in today's video, I am gonna set the record straight once and for all, which one is actually better, sunscreen versus sunblock? Are you ready? There's no such thing as a sunblock. The FDA does not allow any product to claim to be a sunblock because the term is super misleading. No product that you would put on your skin will 100% block out ultraviolet radiation. Some amount of UV is actually always going to reach your skin. There is only sunscreen. Many years ago, the FDA updated its regulations on sunscreen labeling and it does not allow products to claim to be sunblocks. For that reason, it's super misleading. Once upon a time, products were sold um, as sunblocks and you wanna know what happened? Well, people put them on and were under the impression that, oh, I've got sunblock on, so I'm not gonna get a burn, I'm not gonna get a tan, I can safely be outside. So they went outside with just sunblock on and they stayed out too long, they didn't reapply. And if you recall, at least from what I remember back in the day, and you'll find pictures of this, a lot of people just put their sunblock sparingly on areas like their nose and not the rest of their body. So all that to say, when people were under the impression that sunblock was a thing, they misused these products and as a consequence got a lot of unintended sun exposure, unprotected sun, sun exposure. Um, so for that reason, you, you won't see a product labeled as a sunblock. You also won't see a product labeled as waterproof because there's no such thing as a waterproof sunscreen. While some sunscreen formulations can resist removal by repeat water exposure, they are not waterproof. Eventually, the water will rub them off. And I know that some people are rolling their eyes going, oh my gosh, she's being so picky about language. What does it matter? Clearly, we know that most people, when they say sunblock, they're meaning this, that, and the other. Listen, when language is not clear, it leads to confusion. So in a lot of people's minds, a sunscreen is a product that has organic compounds as the active sun protection ingredients. Organic compounds are those that contain carbon. Not the produce you buy at Whole Foods, but rather compounds that contain carbon. Like organic chemistry is the science of these compounds. Pounds. Um, so that is what the active ingredients in chemical sunscreens are. And I say that in air quotes because the other type of sunscreen is what people call mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen. And these sunscreens, their active ingredients are not organic compounds, they are inorganic compounds, which as a side note, are chemicals. That's why I say chemical in air quotes because all sunscreens are chemicals. But inorganic chemical compounds, these are metal oxides, zinc and titanium dioxide. They typically leave a white cast on the skin. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that the organic sunscreens, the chemical ones, work by absorbing UV rays and dissipating that energy as heat, which is correct. However, they are under the impression that the mineral, physical, inorganic sunscreens work by blocking, reflecting, and scattering ultraviolet radiation. While they do that to a certain extent, that's not actually the primary way in which they work. The primary way in which inorganic metal oxide containing mineral or physical sunscreens work is actually by absorbing UV rays and dissipating the energy as heat. So exactly like the organic chemical sunscreen active ingredients, they all work the same to protect from ultraviolet radiation. So which one is better? The best sunscreen, you ready? is the one you are actually going to wear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's chemical. It doesn't matter if it's mineral. It doesn't matter if it's hybrid, which we're not talking about in today's video. As long as you are willing to wear it, you know, it's something that is sustainable for you to use to protect your skin. That's the best one, period, period. Stop over scientifying sunscreen. That's really, that's really as good as it gets period. Sunscreen is not a shield of armor. 
It should never be the sole means by which you protect your skin from the sun. You should always be reining in other sun protective behaviors when you are spending time outdoors, enjoying the outdoors. And that includes wearing sun protective clothing, seeking shade, and not staying out too long. Don't make the same mistakes that people made in the 70s when it comes to solely relying on sunscreen. That was a mistake. That was a mistake in the sunblock era. We want to get away from that. But people will say, what about, isn't a mineral sunscreen better at protecting us from a tan, from hyperpigmentation, from melasma? No, um, it's not. A mineral sunscreen is not better at protecting against those compared to a chemical sunscreen. You will not find a randomized control trial comparing inorganic mineral sunscreens to organic chemical sunscreens for melasma, hyperpigmentation, anything of that sort. Uh, the claim that a lot of people make is that a mineral inorganic sunscreen is superior at protecting against UVA compared to a chemical organic sunscreen, and that's not true. Um, in order to call yourself a sunscreen, because again, there's no such thing, you can't call yourself a sunblock, there's no such thing. Um, in order to call yourself a sunscreen, you have to demonstrate that not only do you protect against UVB, but you also protect against UVA. So all sunscreens will protect against both types of ultraviolet radiation when used correctly. They all protect against UVB and UVA. Uh, and they're not a shield of armor. They all need to be reapplied when you are spending time outdoors. And people get real fixated on this. Like, I live in a cave and I only go out to get my mail. Do I need to reapply every two hours? No, I mean, like, you have to exercise some discretion within your own life about how you are going to incorporate sunscreen, because there's no such thing as sunblock, into your day-to-day -day life. Um, and. The general consensus is to wear sunscreen to protect your skin from a sunburn, as well as to use other sun protective measures. But on days you are mostly indoors, you might choose to wear sunscreen but not reapply it. You may find that you have problems with sunscreens and that you're just going to forgo them. Now, I have videos on the benefits of wearing sunscreen indoors, especially when you are sitting by a window, because UVA does come through the window. I have videos on that. But if you don't sit by a window, and again, you're not in, into wearing sunscreen, you, you might not want to do that. Um, it's, a, it's a personal choice. Some people will claim that a mineral inorganic sunscreen is safer than a chemical organic sunscreen. And that's not true either. Um, both are safe, have been used for many, many years with no evidence of causing any health problems in humans aside from allergic reactions, irritation, um, are possible as with anything you put on your skin. Aside from that, there are no adverse health consequences associated with the use of sunscreens. Now, a lot of people will get hung up on this one thing and that is, well, the active ingredients in organic sunscreens, they have been detected in the bloodstream, bodily fluids, after application to the skin. This really does not sit well with a lot of people. Um, while we have no evidence that that leads to any sort of adverse health con consequence whatsoever, and these have been used for a long, long time, we have no evidence to support that. We have no evidence that they cause any kind of endocrine disruption to people when used in sunscreens. That being said, it still doesn't sit well with everyone, which I respect people's decisions. And in that case, then you might want to choose a mineral sunscreen with inorganic metal oxide, zinc and titanium dioxide, because those will not be detected in the bloodstream upon application to your skin. So that is an option. However, the inorganic mineral sunscreens with zinc and titanium dioxide, they leave a white cast, which you may be okay with, but a lot of people are not, especially people who have a deeper skin tone. So that's why I really do not like the unnecessary, unsubstantiated fear-mongering around uh, organic chemical sunscreens because it sends a message that the ones that are probably more aesthetically acceptable to people with a deeper skin tone are somehow bad or harmful. And it makes it, um, you know, it sends a message that makes it more likely people will just not adapt wearing sunscreen. All skin tones can benefit from the use of sunscreen. And again, the best one is the one that they are actually going to wear. All right, guys, that about wraps up what I wanted to say. Take home point. There's no such thing as sunblock, no sun 
protective product that you apply to the skin is going to block out ultraviolet radiation completely, um, both organic chemical sunscreens and inorganic metal oxide containing mineral sunscreens. They primarily protect you the same um, by absorbing UV rays and dissipating them as heat. And the best one is the one you're actually going to use. But does sunscreen even work? <laughs> like, I've already said it's not a shield of armor. You've got to do these other things. So, like, does it even work? Watch my video. Does sunscreen actually work? Does it do what everyone claims it does? Uh, because I go into a lot of details there and clarify some things in terms of what sunscreen can and cannot do, what the research shows it actually can help with, and where we have gaps in knowledge in terms of what it can help with. So that's definitely worth a watch, uh, and I hope you find it informative and choose to watch it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Mm -hmm.